All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be explaining arithmetic and geometric sequences. So for starters, what are arithmetic and geometric sequences? So basically, an arithmetic sequence is basically when th there is a sequence, but then there's a common term and you have to add them all up. What does that even mean? So for example, if you look right here, what is the common difference? It's going to be 2 because 1 plus 2 is 3, 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, and so on, so on, so on. So basically, that's what an arithmetic sequence is. And when you add all of them up, what does that equal? Well, I'm going to show you that in a bit, but let me just explain arithmetic and geometric sequences. In this case, like, this is also a arithmetic sequence because 6 plus 3 is equal to 9, 9 plus 3 is equal to 12, and so on, so on, until 36. And that's what an arithmetic sequence is. But what is a geometric sequence? A geometric sequence right here is basically when there's a common ratio. Instead of a difference, where in this case it's 2, the geometric sequence has a common ratio of 2. What, what is this? It means 1 times 2 is 2, right? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and so on, so on, until 32. And on the other, in another case, we have 3 times 2 is equal to 6, 6 times 2 is equal to 12, 12 times 2 is equal to 24, and so on, so on, so on, until we have 96. And that's what geometric and arithmetic sequences are. So let's begin on the first example. So how do we add arithmetic sequences? Right, and what does this equation even mean? You guys see all these random constants and variables. What does that even mean? So let me show you. So the S represents the sum of the arithmetic sequence is equal to N, which is the number of terms. I'll show you how to figure that, figure that out in a bit. Right, times A1, which is the first term, plus AN, which is the last term. So let's apply this equation to this question right here. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, all the way up to 201. So what is the sum equal to? The sum is equal to the number of terms. I'll show you guys how to figure that out. What you do is you add the two last digits, the two last numbers, right? 1 plus 201, 1 plus 201, and then you divide that by 2, right? You just add all of them, and you divide it by the common difference, which is 2. So that's how you figure out the sum, I mean, the number of terms, all right? That you add the first term and the last term and divide that by the common difference, which in this case is 2, times a1, which is 1, because 1 is the first term, plus an, which is the last term. So what is the last term? 201. And you put everything over 2. So let me simplify this to you, for you. 1 plus 201 divided by 2. That's equal to 202 divided by 2, which is equal to 101, times what's 1 plus 201? That's equal to 203. I mean, 202 plus 202, and you divide everything by 2. And if you use a calculator, um, I don't have a calculator on me, but let me just simplify this. So 202 divided by 2 is 101. So this is equal to 101 times 101. And what is 101 times 101? That's equal to 101, 0, 101. That's equal to 10,201. And boom, that's going to be your answer for the sum of this equation right here, this sequence right here. Boom, that's how you solve it. You find the sum by finding the amount of terms in the sequence, the number of terms in the sequence. The, you add the first term and the last term, and you divide everything by 2. So let's continue to our second example of arithmetic sequences. So we have this example right here, 6 plus 9 plus 12 all the way up to 36. So let's use the same process. All right, so we have to find the sum, right? And what is sum equal to? It's equal to the number of terms, which is the first term plus the last term, 6 plus 36, divided by, what is the common difference? What is the common difference? 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12. And boom, that's going to be the common difference, 3. Times the first term, which is 6, plus the last term, which is 36, everything over 2. Let's simplify this. So 6 plus 36 is 42. 42 divided by 3 is 14. Right, that's 14 times 42 divided by 2. And you can simplify this into 7 times 42 because 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 7 times 42 is what? That's equal to 294. And boom, that's how you find out how to do arithmetic sequences. So boom, that's going to be your answer. All right, now let's move on to geometric sequences. So this tends to be a little harder to grasp. This concept is harder to grasp, but let me try my best to explain it to you. So to find geometric sequences, you have to first, 
multiply the first term, a1, right, right here, a1 represents the first term by the ratio, the common ratio. So what is the common ratio? It's basically, as I just explained before, it's how much you multiply each number by to obtain the next value. In this case, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So the common ratio in this sequence is going to be 2. And then minus r to n power. r is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. I'll show you how to obtain the number of terms um, using a sequence. And lastly, over 1 minus the common ratio. So let's get into this problem, right? And I'll show you how to apply this formula. So the sum is going to be a1, which is 1. The first term is 1 times r, r in this case is 2 minus r to the n. So that's 2 to the, how many terms are there? So what you can do is use a calculator. That's what I do. Um, I just, or you could go, you could use this formula, which I normally do not use. I just multiply until I get that number, but you could use this. So you could use, to find the number of terms, You this is what you're going to do. So you're going to, number of terms so n is equal to what n is equal to the first term which is a1 times the common ratio the common ratio to the x power and you have to find x in this case let me show you what that means so the number of terms is equal to what it's equal to 1 times r which is 2 in this case to the x power so um Basically, n in this case is equal to 32, right? Because that's the last term. I, n represents the last term, a of n. That's what I meant to write. a of n is equal to the last term, okay? So 32 is equal to 2 to the x. In this case, x is equal to 5. So there are going to be 5 terms, but you're supposed to add 1 to x because you didn't account for the first term. So 5 plus 1, that's equal to 6. So there are going to be six terms in this whole sequence. So let's go back to this equation right here. So 1 times 2 minus 2 to the 6 over 1 minus 2, because that's the ratio. This might be confusing at first, but once you guys grasp this, this idea, it's going to be really easy for you to solve. So let's just simplify this. So this is equal to 1 times 2 minus 32. No, 2 to the 6 is 64. So 2 minus 64 is 62, negative 62, negative 62 over negative 1. And this can be simplified to 62. So it means the sum of all the terms in this geometric sequence is 62. You guys can check your work by adding, but 62 is going to be answered. And this is how to obtain every single value, S, A1, R, and N. And boom, this is how you're going to do it. So let's move on to this question right here. It's going to be a different sequence, but it's going to apply the same formula. So 3 plus 6 plus 12 all the way up to 96. So what is the sum equal to? The sum is equal to a1, which is the first term, 3, times r, what is r. So how to obtain this value? 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. So it means r is going to equal to what? It's going to equal to 2. 2 minus r to the n power. And how do you find n? It's equal to 96. Right, the last term is equal to the first term times two to the x. Divide both sides by three, you'll get twenty. Uh, you'll get thirty-two is equal to two to the x. In this case, x is equal to five. So, and as I said before, you have to add one to this value of x. So, which gives you six. So it means there are going to be six terms in this sequence, and boom. So that's two to the six again, over one minus r. One minus what is r is equal to two. And now let's simplify this even further. So 3 times 2 minus 2 to the 6 is 62 over negative 62, I meant. 2 minus 64 is negative 62 over negative 1. And this is simplified, finally, to negative 186 over negative 1, which is equal to what? It's equal to 186. And boom, that's how you're going to solve geometric sequences, and that's how geometric sequences and arithmetic sequences are that's going to be how to solve it today so you guys might apply this to sat or algebra 2 possibly algebra 1 i don't know what class they teach us to this in but if you guys learn this this will be helpful in your math mathematical career so peace out guys